Hello everyone. So in this video, we can look at uh, equations of relative velocity and equation of relative acceleration. How, how we can derive these uh, equations based on or uh, starting from uh, equation of relative displacement. You will see how important it is to know the definitions. Okay, so we'll start with this. We can use the same example as before. Right, so <clears throat> It's the same example as before but uh, I have extended a few parts here. You have three locations and now uh, you have five locations A, O, B, C and B. These are the locations. Now at time, at time t equals simple t, at time t equals simple t, particle P, P and Q are at b and a respectively so at, if you take a snapshot at t equals time t you would see particle p and q at these two locations so after uh, delta t time after delta t time you will see that the particle p and q would be at these two points point b and point c if you take a snapshot after a delta t time you will see them at these two points so that's why I mentioned t equals t here and here and t equals t plus delta t here and here. Now uh, you can write uh, the equation of relative displacement for uh, the when, when the particles are at uh, uh, b and a this point that that means when the time is at t equals simple t. So if you write this now you know that the displacement changes so displacement is a function of time that's why I used is uh, within brackets t here. This is function of time. Now you want to know uh, the relative displacement between particle p and q. So we can write the equation displacement of q with respect to p is equal to displacement of q with respect to o plus displacement of o with respect to p. That is the equation. So these o uh, are related by time when, when t equals t so when the time is t equals plus delta t we can write the same equation like before but these two are different so uh, i want to know how fast particle q is moving away from particle p because now as depicted in the diagram it, they are moving uh, away from each other so i want to know how fast it is changing how fast the relative displacement between these two particles are changing. What is the rate? So in order to do that, I, I want to know how, how much it has changed. Displacement has changed within the time delta t. So what I'm going to do here is that I'm going to uh, take the difference between 2 and 1. So 2 minus 1, this equation. So just uh, I'm going to divide by delta t because you know how to obtain a velocity from displacement using uh, differentiation so basic the fundamental idea of derivatives so if i do this i would get s q t t plus delta t minus s q p t is equal to uh, i'm going to divide it by delta t as well this is equal to s q o t plus delta t minus s q o at t and plus s o p t plus delta t minus s o p at t so they are all divided by delta t so what is my next step so if you want to know uh, how fast it is changing the rate of change so this represent this ratio represent the change in the displacement between particle b and q uh, when the time has elapsed by delta t this is uh, the the change in the displacement of q with respect to o right with respect to fixed position, uh, the, uh, the difference between the displacements after delta t time. 
and this represents the uh, relative displacement of O with respect to P. Right. So now what I'm going to do here is that uh, let me just sorry about that. Get rid of this. If I were to take the limit, if I were to take the limit, because I, I, I want to know what happens uh, when delta t tends to zero. Limit as delta t tends to zero. In all these equations, limit delta t tends to zero. This ratio and uh, okay. Limit that t tends to zero. Right. Sorry about that. Now, what is the meaning of this? So uh, this tells us the velocity. This represents the velocity. So we define this ratio when when the limit of delta t tends to zero we define it ratio as velocity of q with respect to p this is the relative velocity now this is no longer an in instantaneous velocity as it was defined previously which was defined with respect to fixed point uh, fixed point on the ground now this is this represent this quantity represent a relative quantity velocity of particle q with respect to p right and this one this one represent velocity of particle q with respect to o how fast it is moving with respect to position o and this part this part tells us how fast O is moving with respect to P because uh, si since uh, if, you're, if, you're, if you're sitting inside this vehicle or if you are the particle you would notice that the O is moving away from you even though that with respect to O you will be moving uh, away from O to the left side. This we define as velocity of O with respect to P. Right? So this is a beautiful equation we obtain. Make sure you remember this and you will use this a lot. Right? This is very important. And uh, almost all your questions or past paper questions based on the relative motions will be uh, using this equations to solve, solve them. So likewise, I'm not going to go through them again. I can uh, I can go through the, the same procedure starting from this equation and obtain uh, relative equations of acceleration. So I'm just going to write it. A Q P is equal to A Q O A O P. Now we have three relative equations this represent uh, equations of relative acceleration this represent equation of relative velocity and the previous one so this one represents equation of uh, relative displacement so usually we uh, we have problems where the relative acceleration is zero that means the velocity uh, is not a function of time right but displacement will uh, obviously be a function of time because uh, there are moving objects if the acceleration the relative acceleration is zero then uh, the relative velocities will not change so we will uh, look at relative accelerations under uh, forces on, under Newton's law okay thank you for uh, watching the video and uh, uh, I'll try to see if I can uh, do some examples and include them in this lecture series. Okay, see you guys.